Call Ausco today at 919-828-7491 or visit ausco.com. Again, that's ALSCO.com to learn more about what they can provide for your business. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. I'm telling you, it is a good look, bad look Monday. Let's call it a great look. If you live in Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, you are part of Wolfpack Nation. Yes. Man, this is an incredible day. Let's say Easter was resurrection, but some team resurrected. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Especially on the men's side. <laughs> Man, it was incredible. We're gonna talk about it in detail. Let's get it, get it. I, I found the love provides the key. key. I did. Unlocks the heart and souls of you and me. Love will learn to sing your song. Yeah. yeah. Love is written in the stone. Every man I meet in walking time. Free to wonder past his conscious mind. Yeah. Love will come and take you home, home yeah. yeah. Uh, written, written in stone. stone. Wow, top of the morning to you on this unbelievable day. Woodpack Nation, stand up. I'm talking stand about. Stand up, stand up. I'm, talk, I'm talking about a couple of things happened yesterday that never happened before. Mm-hmm. One is the fact that the NC State Woodpack women are going to the final four. Yay! That's, that, that's, that's happened before, <laughs> once. Absolutely. Then you got the men going to the final four. Unbelievable run. But 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 what's never happened before, both of them, as I said, are gone. Yeah. So then I'm like, is that, what does the AD do? No, no, it's still split. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> Cleveland is one of them? Is Cleveland? Yeah, yeah. Cleveland, Cleveland and, and Phoenix. Phoenix. AD going to be in Phoenix. Oh, uh, you think so? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, I, I take it well, back. They, no. Well, it depends on if no, no. they make it to the final no. game because they're different days. No, that's so good you point. just so, need a good play. So they start off Friday. <laughs> right. Uh, well, start Friday for the women's final four. Right. So uh, Boo can be probably in, in Cleveland taking private plane over to Phoenix right. when that game is over. But if both of them wins, you got to go back and forth again. Got to go back and forth, yeah, because yeah. one will be Sunday and one will be Monday. Or yeah. Something like so, that. yeah, so there you go. But, hey, that's a good problem to have. <laughs> they, he can afford it. He's uh, no. excited to have that problem. I'm trying to tell you. The interstate we're packing, then you got the the, uh, you know, the different radios and the TV crews got to cover. It's going to be interesting. Can you get me a private yeah, so uh, I can get Harry up and get there? <laughs> I got you, pal. Maybe I, I can ride with Boo. You can ride with Boo. <laughs> you, can, you can get your ride with Boo. Yeah. But I tell you, it, it's, it's very, very exciting. Unbelievable. To the point where having people don't believe it. <laughs> Still happy, in a little bit, even, people, even their own <laughs> Even their own fan. <laughs> like, go, go wow. Big. And you believe it or not, somebody it said, so exciting. I, I'm not sure it's true, but somebody's still being very uh, negative out on these uh, message boards. Yeah. That is so stupid. Yeah, and on the air, I heard something coming in. I thought, oh, that's a great poll question, a good conversation. Um, they were actually debating whether or not, and this is just the, in, for the men's category, mm-hmm. because of now it's because of the strength of the ACC. Now, we've been weak all year long. No, no, but that, now it's about the strength of the ACC. Should NC State even be considered a Cinderella? Well, I mean, the, the strength of, of the ACC is a pe- people's opinion because, as it turns out, we could have had eight in the eight, Elite Eight if, I, if, if Carolina had lost mm-hmm. to Alabama. We had three in the Elite Eight. Right. We had, we, and going into the Sweet 16, we had uh, four teams. So 25% of the Sweet 16 was, was part of the ACC. So what the hell are they talking about? It, I was like, I was just listening. Like, and they were going back and forth. But And where, whether it would be uh, NC State or is Alabama a Cinderella because they've never, ever been. They Those were the no, questions. No, a Cinderella and they were have, like, no, they're coming out of the SEC. They're not a Cinderella. Because you've never been before. And they're four seed. Right. <laughs> because you've never been before over history of time. Okay. But why about what about this time? Right. I mean, why you have to base that based on it's not based on history. It's based on that current 
yeah, and that could, well, that yeah. was that's the conversation saying yeah. that it shouldn't be a Cinderella is not a year by year. Right, 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 right. It's just they maybe they 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 were a Cinderella maybe winning the ACC tournament, but once they got going, they, they were serious. That's, and this Absol- guy, absolutely. I can't, I can't believe this guy is still up. Let, let's go to the phone. We got Graham calling in. Graham, G <laughs> Money, what's up, man? Good morning. I haven't even gone home yet. I just slept outside Western Boulevard or somewhere on Western Boulevard last night. I camped out at the Bell Tower. No, I, Reeves, it's funny you mentioned that um, there may be, there might be some fans that still haven't believed what happened, but I can tell you this much. The 1,000 fans that were at the Dale Basketball Center off Western Boulevard last night at 2 a.m. to welcome back the team was unbelievable. Um, I saw the video. A lot of people don't know this. My dad is a 1984 grad of NC State. Mm-hmm. So, 83, he was a junior. And I've always heard stories of mm. when he was at his dorm room watching on a television that still had an antenna, if we can still remember what those things are. Right. And he said, you know, after the game where Wittenberg, oh, it's a long way. They got it. <laughs> NC State on the Later, he said the the courtyard was filled with thousands of people, and there was already a couch on fire. So I've always heard stories. So last night, after the game was over, running to the bell tower, and just on the way, running down Hillsborough Street, seeing all the cars honking their horns and people in truck beds, you know, yelling out, Wolf! Pack! And then at the bell tower, seeing it flooded with fans. And then, you know, Reese, if there's a crowd, I'll be there. So, of course... When I heard that NC State's basketball team would be arriving back in Raleigh at 2 a.m., I had to go. So if anybody wants to see the video, be sure to check it out on 999. I've, I've already checked it out, brother. I saw it this morning. <laughs> and, and, and you was right there. I was trying to figure out how many guys were going to get off the bus with, with their shirt off. I mean, it was like, it was like three or four. <laughs> I, I thought, of course, the second person to go off the bus would be Dennis Parker Jr. with that damn boom box. I mean, that thing has just become <laughs> – that thing has become a staple for this whole NCAA tournament run. But, no, what was really cool was DJ Burns, you know, just being welcomed almost felt like a hero. And in oh, some yeah. way, America's favorite. Fan base, he is this fan base hero. He's American mm-hmm. big man. Mm-hmm. And just hearing him speak to the crowd and saying, you know, thanking everybody for the support, but saying, I don't know why everybody keeps thinking that all these wins are our ceilings. Like, they legit think they can go win the national championship. You know and what? to be honest, they're playing on that sort of confidence. Now, I know people are saying, oh, well, you're saying that even though they had to rely on a on a, you know, a grace of God's buzzer beater shot by Michael O'Connell to uh, force them against though. Virginia That's what and allowing Oakland to get back into a game and go into overtime. And align. Uh, look, here's the thing. People forget about this in March. Good teams know how to win when they shouldn't. And right now, NC State, it's a really freaking good basketball team. I hate That's to ruin right. that. I hate to ruin that for people. Hey, no, 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 don't ruin it. Embrace it, and, and they can see it with their eyes. Not only the men, but the women as well. So <clears> this <throat> is that. This is. I mean, I've been here for as long as you've been alive. You and A Town combined, probably. But this is. Uh, <laughs> this is the, the the ultimate highest point I think I've ever I ever uh, witnessed from NC from NC State Nation. Mm-hmm. I, I can think of another. I mean, because uh, eighty three. I yeah, I had just arrived here eighty three and uh and I saw that run. But no, man, it's Wolfpack Nation. And shout out yes. to you. Shout out to all the Wolfpack Nation, man. Uh, hey, hey grandma, uh, I I know hey, cherish that experience, man, because that's an unbelievable you'll be able to tell your grand your, your sons about about back in two twenty twenty four when both teams <laughs> Daddy won. Daddy stayed up all night, <laughs> slept on the street. <laughs> that, was, that was the whole point of going that was the whole point of doing it. Hey, running all three hours of sleep. Sore throat. I feel like I just played a basketball game, but there's still a radio show to do at 9 a.m. with myself and Paul Eyehander next up. That's right. And a new episode of Pack Therapy to be recorded, which we released at noon today. On the lookout for that on both the fans' YouTube channel and wherever you find your favorite podcast. If you see me asleep in a cubicle at some point today, yeah, don't, don't worry about it. My man. We'll see you okay, in a Okay, G-Money. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, take care. <laughs> man, unbelievable. And, 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 that's, and, and that's really the interesting part about it. James Riley got to be off the off the. Oh yeah, the James getting ready to call. He, that's probably him. That's now. Maybe James calling in now. <laughs> good look, oh, good look, Mike. bad look. Monday, <laughs> hey, but this is a great look good for, for Wolfpack Nation. Good look, good look. We got Mike and Carrie calling in. Michael, good morning. Good How morning, you doing? Michael. Hey, good morning. Boy, am I shocked in the name. Uh oh. 
J-Mac calling out sick after the Alabama win? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you all tell him that Alabama won, Clemson didn't win? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, Duke, Duke lost, too. That's his crew, too, you know. Yeah, so. you know, he's Duke. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah, I know. I, I was wondering how he handled today. So, I think my comp- but, but compromise, like, listen, as sure, like I told K-Mac, as sure as Colin Powell liked his coffee, two creams, two sugars. <laughs> <laughs> K Mac calls out after a Clemson win. But see, with Duke losing, this means he'll just come in late today. Right, right. That's right. And but, by the but, way, but, Michael, I heard you on Friday. I wasn't here, but I heard you think I was out because Carolina didn't win. That was oh, why wow. I was out. Oh, wow. That was just rumor? Uh, yeah, that was just rumor. It was already a, a planned vacation. Conjecture. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you were probably booking your ticket to the Final Four, weren't you? Got a little premature there. <laughs> but but I digress. You know, uh, Reese, as someone who appreciates a, a, a post game. Okay. A big, mm-hmm. a big man's post game. Old school post game. Yes. Yeah, what you're seeing with DJ Burns. Incredible, right? Get, when a player stays around and allows himself to mature, mm-hmm. both his game and physically. So you're not going to get that from an 18-year-old, 19-year-old kid. Nope. No. Nope. That's right. Not at all. I mean, when was the last time you saw a, a college basketball player? <laughs> college basketball. Play the post with such savvy. I mean, skill. Yeah. It's intelligence. That's what's missing. I mean. I don't think the guy makes a bad pass. And, and it's sad. I He's mean, one of the best and, passes yeah. on the team. Right. And the great thing about it, the unbelievable part for me is how accurate he is uh, with the basketball mm-hmm. and shooting it. I mean, very seldom he misses. Right. I mean, he is so right. consistent with his shot. Yes. That blows my mind. Soft touch. Yep. He, he's got Kyrie's touch mm-hmm. off the glass. Yep. He can kill. He got Jack Goose Givens from the elbow. Come on now, come on now, come on now. That's Not right, Jack. I did it. Uh, another left left hander from uh, from the from University of Kentucky. Go ahead on. It's something, it's something with the left handers, man. They just have that. And then his passing. I mean, he just, he doesn't go for the sucker pass when he's pressed. He knows exactly who's going to be open. He uses ball fakes, good footwork. He's just so fundamentally sound. Um, you know, everyone gets caught up in the uh, the fact that uh, he and K Mac share physical trainers. <laughs> oh my! But his game is just really impressive. No, it is. It is a hundred percent. Really impressive. Hundred percent. And, and all all these young kids could could learn something. To just don't be in such a rush. That's right. Let your game mature. Let yourself mature. And, well, uh, learn learn the game of basketball. And. <laughs> And uh, you could get you can get that kind of attention too. Now, in my of fact, I, I think when you look at the team, NC State team, that there are some older uh, guys on that team, and and, and we see in the narrative, we, we don't see these, you know, uh, you know, one and one done, and done, one right. and done teams right. Right. advancing. I mean, if right. you if you look at the final, if you look at the final four, there's not no one and dones out there. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. How much older is John Stallworth than you? <laughs> he's, he, he, he's about five. He's about five, six years older than me, my friend. Right. So imagine you going up against him as a freshman. No, I could. He was a senior. I could. Right. I that, could. That's what I mean. Think about all all that happens in those four years: physical no. maturity, no, you right. physical maturity, that's a great point. get to learn. These, these guys would would do well to 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 look at that. And, and, look, you just can't go up against someone four years older than you. It's different, man. It's different. And it, to your point, DJ was – I mean, both DJs. I mean, the, the DJ Hall came in because I was wondering – he was struggling uh beginning of uh, yesterday's game, but he came on at the end. Hey, Michael, we got to bounce, man, but uh, that's All right, very man. good points, my friend. Thank you so much. All yes. right, and, and glad to hear at least from you there's no sour grapes there. Oh no Sam's no! Got to work on that, but you're all in. I can tell. But I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm, I, I like the wood pack, but don't forget, I got Alabama. <laughs> oh lord! Rolling too. Yeah, oh lord! I, I knew I should have dropped what I could. Yes. <laughs> all right, Michael. <laughs> right, take care. We'll see you. Bye bye. Hey, child, what we got, man? It's unbelievable. Great look, Monday, man. If you're a wood pack nation, I mean, in general, I hope everybody had a great Easter yesterday. We're gonna get to all that too. What we got, eh? Life is unpredictable, and you and your beneficiaries deserve peace of mind by having a plan in place. 
Do you need to make provisions for your minor children, perhaps on special needs? Do you want to define your wishes rather than have the courts decide for you? Do you need to safeguard your assets to ensure your plan is followed? Will your beneficiaries be burdened with tax consequences? These are just a few of the reasons why. You need to contact David Tarbett at the bank's law firm. Call 919-474-9137 today to schedule a free consultation. It's all about the Wolf Pack. Today's Wolf Pack takeover. Yeah. I mean, how, how can it be anything else? When we get back, we'll talk more about what the men are doing, but even more importantly, the women, they got to the Final Four first. And Pam, I'm going to get you updated on that, along with some big-time women's basketball tonight. I can't wait. It's going to be huge. Next on the Sports Shop. Let's get it.
All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Want a slice, got to roll the dice. That's why, all my life, I've been grinding all my life. Yeah. All my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price. Want a slice, got to roll the dice. That's why, all my life, I've been grinding all my life. Look, I'm married to this guy. That's who I made my wife. Welcome back to the sports shot on this great. Great Monday. Great look. Still be good look, bad look. Oh uh, man, DR Reach K Mac, Pam Tom Smith the firm. We got eight uh, eight time behind the glass. Nine one nine eight nine zero six two zero zero. Let me hear you. Let me go quicker. We got Shakai who's been holding for a while. Shakai, welcome to the sports up, my friend. How's it going? Good morning. You know, I had a dream. I woke up this morning. Uh, uh-huh. NC State's men and women's basketball teams are going to the final four. Wow. Yes. Yeah. This is not April Fool's. This is a real deal, Holy Fit. No, that's, no, that's a good point. It's not, <laughs> it's not April Fool's. <laughs> but but it's a real deal, Holy Fit. You're right. Yes. yes, it's right. This is really happening. Look, the devil ain't going to win on Easter Sunday. Come on, somebody. Don't get that's it. right. <laughs> that's right. The devil can't win on Easter Sunday. He's going to burn <laughs> in hell. No pun or pun intended. Oh, my God. 1983 elevation. You know, Pam was in the fifth grade. I was in the, uh, just before preschool. That's right. Uh, 1983 elevation. Bobby was the new addition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. You know what's happened since then? Earl Reese and Pam Thompson Smith have made millions upon millions of dollars since Ooh. then. Uh, we've had a black president twice. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, Bill Clinton and, and, and Barack Obama. Twice. He said twice. <laughs> he Ooh, said that's twice. good. Well, how many bushes have been offered? The son, the daddy? Come on, son. By 1983, <laughs> it's a beautiful, it's a good look, man. Why not them, man? You know what? Why I not guess us? We can bed, all those. Look, you know what happened last night, uh, Pam and uh, Earl? Uh-huh. We buried the Stook fans last night. Who did Stook fans pull for? You know Stook fans are, don't you? State fans that pulled for Duke for all these years. They can finally turn their hats around. <laughs> you're right about that. <laughs> you're right fans. about that. That's you, true. No, you're right about that, Shakai. You so happy. I'm happy. Listen, what's going on here, man? And to top it all off, I know we're coming Women's History Month. We love the women. Yeah. R.I.P. Coach K. Yeah, I know she's smiling in heaven. Yeah. R.I.P. Jimmy V. He's smiling oh, in heaven. Yeah. But to see a brother, Kevin Keats, the real Coach K. Leave the team. <laughs> I told my brother, Pam Earl, I told my brother, so watch out for the cardiac patch. Something was happening in D.C. You know what? I blame you, Earl, because you were down at the MEAC where you should have been at the ACC tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my. We're not even going to talk about it. But you know what? Hats off to him. It's finally time. We got that broadcast talking about the curse. is broken, man. Salute to ACC State. But listen, don't get too happy. Cause they got to play games over the weekend. <laughs> but let's start a book while we can, both men and women. They got back about one in the morning. I said, one in the morning. The woman got back at three. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, hey, man, it's outstanding. Uh, just got to be crazy. Uh, happy for the Woodpack Nation. It's a great time. You got to be happy for yeah. I check my hat on to Let them eat for the table, man, because, look, it's a long time. He ain't ate since 1983. Come on. How many Final Fours have you been to early since then? How many? <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of them. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to well, hear from Chicago. If you go this you're going to be rolling with the huh? time. Huh? I didn't what? think we were going to hear from Chicago till like, August. Cause let's see. Why? Oh, the Tar Heels ain't playing. Uh-oh. Wait, wait. But the, the Giants, the Giants, oh, you know, okay. the Giants, be, the Knicks won't he be He having doing, a rough year. The, the, the Knicks won't was, be doing I'm that. I'm having a great year. Hello, listen, 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 K-Man. We won a regular season ACC championship. Yeah. We right. beat y'all twice. Who did Duke beat this year? Who did oh. Duke beat? They're beating the heads against the wall right now. They're <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Rooney, 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 they were trying to touch up the Carolina fans. Now, look, last weekend, they were thinking, they were thinking NC State for beating us. Who who the Duke fans thinking this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking, I'm talking That's true. I mean, on, on, on social media, all the Duke fans good. coming out hard, man. Oh, yeah. Matt, try to talk, talk about us. Y'all, y'all don't want no parts of us, man. What happens? Look, twice in Final Four history, Duke has played State and Carolina Final Four. What happened both times? You're winless. You're dead win. <laughs> you can't win. Bow down. Sit down. Wow. We got another beat down. She just brought the DJ. Go, oh, DJ. That's I should But you didn't give it out. You didn't give it out. <laughs> Stop. Say we only got it to Coach K. That's all we did. We retired Coach K. That's all we did. <laughs> so whether you like it or don't like it, learn to live with it, K-Mac, because you lost 
Again. Again. <laughs> 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 Peace and love. Love wow, that. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> That was re- very well prepared, by the way. Exactly. <laughs> Years of trauma. He, 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 he couldn't wait to get that out. <laughs> Pamela, so re- re- let's pivot it real quickly. I, I, yeah. Hey, we were talking about the men's side, and of course, this that's been a fantastic win. Absolutely. Coach Keats and the guy who was literally was going to get fired. I mean, was was hours away from getting fired, and now he's in the damn foul of four. <laughs> Go imagine that right now. Seriously. I know. Let, let's pivot so to the exciting. women's side right quick, Pamela. That, Wes Moore has got his crew in the Final Four. He does. First time That's taking exciting. his crew in the Final Four. That's got to be exciting, too, as well. Yeah, and I'm excited for him. And just going back to our conversation in October, he sat in front of me and a whole row of media yes. that was constantly using the word rebuild. And he was constantly saying, no, I'm just resetting. Mm. And you'll see what happens. And now we see what has happened. They were picked to be eight. In the ACC. Wow. And now they're in the Final Four. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The women's basketball has been very excited. Uh, th- let's talk about uh, some games that's coming up tonight. Though. Oh, yeah. So tonight is big. So we've got, let me go to this. So we got Juju versus Paige. You got UConn. Oh, and man. USC. That's a late game. But before that's that, that's a 9 15. And before yeah. that, when all eyes. Yeah. On Reese versus Caitlin Clark. Reese versus Caitlin Clark. Rematch? Not this Reese, but Not Angel that Reese. Reese. Angel Reese. Angel Reese. Is it a rematch? Yes. Mm. And it's kind of like, and everybody's having the same um, conversation. Like, we this, we were thinking this would be, you know, a Final Four game that we would see uh, in Cleveland. Yeah. But because of the way the brackets were set up. And they was up, complaining about that, too. Yeah, said that yeah. Way. Like, yeah. why? Like, yeah. people, they had purchased their tickets to see this. A while back. But instead, it's going to be on tonight to get to the Final Four. Um, so that's that's going to be exciting uh, to watch them play. And, yeah, again, speaking of the Final Four, South Carolina and NC State, they're already there. They're already there. Yeah, so that's going to be exciting, They're going to be too. playing each other. So Ooh. the LSU hour game will be at 7-15, yep. and the UConn-USC game will be at 9-15. Oh, man. That's yeah. incredible. So one of my fun facts okay. is when we just talk about the similarities for night for eighty three teams. Sure. Yes. Um. So when was the last? You know, it's been several years uh, where they've had uh, the women's team and the men's team actually mm-hmm. go to the final four, but for other other uh, conferences. Yeah, yeah. But how yeah. about in nineteen eighty three? It happened for Georgia. Oh, really? Which is interesting. Georgia was a, was a school that had men and women both in the final four, okay. and NC State men beat Georgia. Wow. To, Similarity. Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> Think about that. That's a good one. Yeah. Man, that is it's – it's, again, a lot of people don't – they don't believe it, what's going on here in Raleigh. <laughs> Raleigh, Raleigh is off the dog on <laughs> I mean, it's Everybody on national news, talking man. about Raleigh all day. Raleigh, oh, Raleigh, Raleigh Woods in the business. building. Back in business. Yes, uh-huh, man. Yes. Hey, child, what we got right quick on this unbelievable Wolfpack Monday is what mm-hmm. it is. Hilton Raleigh North Hills Hotel and Convention Complex, located on Wake Forest Road, has an abundance of guest rooms and meeting space. This hotel continues to be a top destination for meetings, conferences, and events. Enjoy live music Wednesday evenings from 7 to 10 p.m. Email yolanda.ds at hilton.com or call 919-872-2323 and let them know the sports shop sent you. Oh, man, shout-out to D.Y., shout-out to Wittenberg, shout-out to Chucky Brown. All oh, Wolfpack yes. Nation, they stand up. I, I was chatting with those guys last night. But when we get back on the side, we're going to continue the conversation with Wolfpack. But then I saw something that at halftime that blew my mind of a women's basketball game. I mean, like, really? That's what we're doing? I'll explain that much <laughs> more. Next on the Sports Shop. Let's go.
Welcome back to the sports show. Here on Reese. K-Max Pan Plus Mr. Furry. We are getting it in big time, man. Broadcasting live on YouTube. WRLSportsFan.com, WRLSportsPlus.com, 99.9 HD2, 640 AM, the Buzz, 1550 AM. Get it in right now. Uh, man, it's Woodpack Nation. It's, it's all about the Woodpack. The men and women both are going to the Final Four. Uh, the women are going to Cleveland, and the men are going to Phoenix. And the AD got to figure out, you know, which one where he's going to go. But I think we, he, he, we, we, we solved I it I think for we him. solved it yeah, for him. It's private he, plane. Oh, okay. Going back and forth. <laughs> right, right, right. Give us a ride. What's the time? What's the times of the games? They close, but different days. Different days. Different so days. he got time. Yeah. So right now, I have the privilege and the honor to bring to you James from Raleigh. <laughs> James, <laughs> what's what going on, man? What an intro! <laughs> <laughs> what is going on this morning? Congratulations. <laughs> What is going on this morning? Let me let me slow down. Well, how, how family doing? Happy Easter. Family Happy good, good. Easter Same was man. great. Hope you had a great one. Re- had a great one. Yeah. Resur- re- uh, Resurrection Sunday, man. Awesome time. Awesome time. So I begin to reflect <laughs> oh, a little wow. bit. The they said the natural reflection. reflects the spiritual, right? That's they right. The natural reflects the spiritual, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. And I, I don't want to offend nobody because a whole lot of people might don't believe in God, so I'm sorry. I'm going to use this point. I think God sometimes takes the natural to get a point across to us. Uh-huh. He'll use the natural to get a point across to us spiritual. What, uh, what, what are you talking about, James, this morning? Come what on, are you talking about? The first, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. You better come on now. <laughs> What are you? What are you talking about, James? The one thing I'm saying is, why not us? Right. I'm asked the question this morning. Why not you? <laughs> why you can't crazy. be the first? Come on, boy. Why you can't be the first to graduate from college? Why you can't be the first to get your first your home and your family? Why you can't mm. be the first to own your own business? Why you can't be the first? <laughs> it's something going on. And we don't see it, but God is trying to show us something. Come on. The commercial that ran on his radio said, is NC State cursed? Mm. The curse has been broken. Oh, yes. It's time to break some generational cycles. You see what I'm saying? It's time to break some generational cycles. What's going on, boy? (laughs) But I'm I'm, going to leave that all along because this is a talk radio show. This is a sports (laughs) radio show. We see why it took you longer to come in this morning. You was working Mm -hmm. on that sermonette. (laughs) It's a a sports radio show. It's a sports radio show. It's a sports radio show. Because when you're destined for greatness, nothing can stop you. Uh-oh. When That's all right, the James. Stacked up against you, can't nothing to stop you. You got to understand, NC State went into this tournament, ACC tournament, losing four straight games. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ranked number 10 in going into the ACC tournament and won it. Mm-hmm. Ranked number 11 going into the De- NCAA tournament, and now we're in the final four. Wow. Not only the men. But the women. Come on now. That's right. So That's right. That's know, you about to get double for your trouble. You've <laughs> <laughs> been dealing with a whole lot of trouble. You about to get double for your double trouble. for your trouble. Okay, Jay. You about to get double good. for your trouble. Because so we've been dealing with some stuff. We've been dealing with some stuff since 1986. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of the <laughs> we getting double for our trouble. That's, That's right. All it is. Oh, I love That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's yeah, all it is. I got to use that. 40 years and 40 nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. Because I heard Reese on the, on the radio, Jesus, Jesus is love. Ah, I don't know what Reese up in this field. Jesus is love. And he was singing that thing. Uh, thank I you, brother. You too. I appreciate it, I brother. Thank you. Too. I saw you on YouTube. I saw you on YouTube. Jesus Jay, is love. Jay, what do you do? Yeah. Jesus is love. <laughs> <laughs> I said, shoot, I might need to join him. But I said, yes, they can save me a song. I don't know what I'm going to say, but I think I'm going to save me a song. Wow, wow. I'm going to say, way make a miracle work. <laughs> Come on, that. Double for your trouble. Yeah. I got to remember that. Oh, yeah, boy. So, but, <laughs> oh, Jay, but, boy, hey, boy, funny. My, <laughs> but, my, but, my, but my dukey up here, my dukey, K-Mac. Yeah, get him. Man? I'm doing. I'm doing fantastic. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. We, we ain't said that about that yet. I'm we doing fantastic. Hey, look, I was torn. I was torn. Torn. Oh I was God. torn. Oh Why were you torn? 
I've been wired with the pack oh all year. Oh, my God. You that, crazy. That, 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 <laughs> he was in town laughing at that. I, I, I tell you what going to say that. I tell you what going to say that. If it's lightning is going to strike. I don't, I don't, wait, I, hold on. Wait no, a minute. No, no, you have not. Listen. Oh, my God. You have not. You have not. You ain't been riding with no pack all year. No, that's what I'm saying. You've you, you been the opposite. What? You've been wearing the pack out. Well, I mean, like, hold on. Just because I wear you out don't mean I ain't with you. I just gotta you tell you why it is. Okay. Listen, Hold on, Jay. Don't you say, Jay? Jay, Jay, Jay don't you say that? Like, you gonna let him? You gonna say that? A month ago, I'm just James. Looking at him because he must be sick. James, a month ago, James, you, my friend, was ready to get rid of the man. You, my friend, yeah, said. Was, you yeah. said. You said, James. And I, you said, James. And I quote: "It don't matter what he do." He can win the tournament. I don't care. No, I don't think he that, said yeah, that. He did. No, I ain't said that. See, say so you're going too far. You said. He said, said that. Came back. He said. I think he did man. say no matter what. Wait, okay. He okay. Admins, okay. I, I, he's got to go. I, I, I said corrected oh, it. Oh, time out. Oh, time out. Time out. Come on, Jay. Come on, Jay. I'm sorry, James. But you did. Okay, Jay. Hey, Matt. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Matt. I see it. Uh huh. It was time for him to go. Okay. And you I said, said, then I said, I said, if he do not win the tournament, yep, he's he definitely going to lose his job. Okay. And I said. That's I said, what I said. Hold on. And okay. I said. That's what I said. And I said, why you don't want the man back? Because you <laughs> said what? J- J- and you said what? I said, what? I said, why you don't want the man back? You said what? What are we going to do? <laughs> With more of the same stuff? Yeah, do more of the same stuff. But. I tell you, boy. Happened. Y'all got, y'all got amnesia, boy. I tell you. <laughs> but, but, but came back. But came back. You going off? You going off course? Yeah, he is. He is. He is. He is. He he is. Tried to distract yeah, you, Jay. Yeah, that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing, Jay. It's, it's a problem when you go off course. Cause I know you were waiting for me. I know you were waiting for me today. And we beat them. We beat them. Jay ain't never called in. I know you were waiting for me. Oh my God! But the wolf pack showed up again. Yes. And this twice they don't beat y'all. Oh, that's true. Mm-hmm. That's, true. That's, true. that's true. That's true. They beat you in the ACC tournament. Mm, now mm. they beat you in this one. It's twice they don't beat you. Well, y'all beat everybody. Y'all ain't lost. Y'all beat everybody. You, you, you know what I mean? You beat nine, everybody. Nine, oh, nine. But, hey, man, it's well, we funny to me. You we jumped did. on them last week about UNC. You jumped on these guys last week about UNC. As I should. So I yes, need to hear you talk a little bit about Duke today. I'm gonna get to it. Yeah, I wanna mm-hmm. hear that. When you gonna, gonna get to it? To it. Right, we gonna get to it. Yeah, I wanna hear that. I wanna hear that. I wanna hear that. I'm gonna get to. I'm gonna do like y'all do. What we do? Well, no. you know, tough season, you know. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. He, I own I own every he, bit of mine. We take accountability. He would he did okay. <laughs> I own mine. I own mine. I own mine. Look, look, I don't know why they blame it on Hubert. I don't really know the problem. These guys gotta play better. But anyway, it was it anyway, was an opportunity. Again, anyway, James, again gotta, as James said, you went off course. Uh, we hey, said hey, talk James, about Duke. Hey James, congratulations. I know you sure and, and you gotta be happy. Yes. This is the first time it's ever happened, and that's that's Well incredible. you brought the word this morning. Yeah. James, I'm you telling right. you, like I'm, a, I'm gonna have to re-listen to that for my Monday motivation. But I, I, before I let y'all go, listen, I let my man. I know we have beat Duke in the first quarter, and my wife said, "What you talking about?" What you mean? When DJ Burns, when DJ Horn hit that three pointer in the corner off the backboard, yep. I said, "It's game over." Yep. <laughs> I said the same. I said the same thing. I, I said, said oh. "How did that work?" Yeah, okay, back in the because, corner because he was he was off big time even before yeah. then. Mm-hmm. And that ball was going straight yeah. out of bounds. <laughs> 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 I mean, Not out of bounds. How, 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 how do you make a shot for the <laughs> corner? That's hard to do. It was straight even, out of bounds. Even in horse. <laughs> hey, Jay, hey, Jay, we, oh, we got to go, man. Even in horse. Have a good time. I need, I need I need my coffee. I need my Starbucks. I got you. I, and got I need you. my family to meet me downtown <laughs> that week. <laughs> okay. And we enjoy this thing. Uh, we we hey, gonna do that, baby. I'm gonna meet you in Phoenix, Jay. Come on out. I can't go to Phoenix. So <laughs> I'm gonna stay locally. I can, I can enjoy them now. I ain't going to Phoenix. I ain't going oh, to man. Phoenix. Let's go to the fight, hey, James. Have a good one, brother. We got to bounce. Y'all Let's have go. a great one too. Yeah, let to the phone right. Let's go to Jay Lewisburg. Jay, good morning. How you doing, right quick? Uh, good morning, Ray. I'm Ray. Uh, good, uh, Pam. How you doing? Good morning. Hey, Mac. What's going on, Jay? K Mac, Pam. I feel your pain. <laughs> <laughs> well, brother Reese. The, Okay, I, I give Alabama credit, but I want Reese to, can they get by uh, UConn? No, nah, it's no. going to be tough. But, you know, you never know in the Final Four, you never know. UConn, true. UConn he, he, they've been having great games all up to this point. Sometimes the, the, the ball doesn't fall, so they may have a tough game. Alabama can shoot lights out, so they we'll see. They haven't faced a team that had enough to throw at them. Yeah. I mm-hmm. think the Alabama team is deep enough. They can throw enough at them. It, may, it, may, it, it could have an impact. Good. Yeah, now, 
I give you my t- well, I go back just a couple of days. My take on that game was uh, I love Hubert, but he was out coached. Okay, all right. So you, know, <laughs> you don't play that. I mean, that style that you you don't just get in with a three point shooting team, get into a contest with. You should have went more inside. I thought Baycott had twenty some points and four, and 14, 14 rebounds. And, and, and what did Huber had to have to do with some guys taking shots that shouldn't should not be taking shots? Tell me that. Well, Tell that's what uh, women won't discipline. I mean, you no, got but, shoot twenty percent from three. But, what are you doing at that period of the game shooting a three? Dry right. the ball. You would think a guy that's a, five, a fifth year senior mm-hmm. that's coming that will have the discipline enough and the know how not to take that shot. And, and fifth year, yeah, yeah, because he transferred in from uh, from uh, Louisville. He had a fifth year, mm-hmm. and and so and and and, and that had nothing to do with, with Coach Davis. So when people yeah, say well, that, actually, my the reason why I said Davis was was his whole game strategy. Because mm-hmm. uh, I had to bring this up too. Uh, a couple of years ago, when the, when Roy mm-hmm. played Auburn, and Auburn was led the nation in shooting three pointers, he didn't change his defense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I mean, you know, if you know the Carolina style, is you play from inside out on defense. Yeah. But, but these three point shooting teams, you gotta, be, you gotta, can't be stubborn. You gotta change your whole philosophy. You gotta get out there and play them. You can't just run back to the no. to the free throw no. line or in the paint and then come back out. Boy, you gotta meet them out there at the three <laughs> point line, that. and that's what they didn't do. Y'all yeah, got a Hall of Fame coach said he couldn't coach because he didn't call timeouts one time too. Yeah, uh, uh, Jay, the, the, the only criti- the criticism I would add, I hate that switch on on uh, on the pick and roll. I just hate that. And Alabama expo- exploited that with Nelson, and that's one of the reasons why they lost. But, it, uh, but Jay, yeah. that, that's Nelson took that's, total that's, advantage. That was like Thursday night, man. We got to move on off to that, brother. Okay, well, I can now go to I get I could congratulate State. Yes. Yes. Hey, uh, you know, Burns, I'm really excited to see that matchup of him against Edie. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting mm-hmm. matchup. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. interested in that one, too, my friend. That's going to be a good one. Uh, I give it Burns is old school. <laughs> I, wish, I wish more teams had wow. guys that play like that. He Instead old school. He, he old, guys, old, old, gotta, old school. <laughs> he's he's, 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 he's elderly he school. He's like a big man, not no – no finesse stuff. Yeah. That's yeah. why I give Burns credit. There, he, he know what he can. He, his limits are. That's where he plays. That's true. You got these other guys that want to go and shoot threes and play soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, he, they bring him and Edie both are bringing back the big man game. A lot of people are saying so. Shout out to them. That's that, that's a good thing, I think. Yeah, that should be a good game. The, yeah. We'll see though, because him and Edie might cancel each other out. So we'll see. Yeah, that's what they're looking for. All right, man. Exactly. <laughs> okay, then. Thank you, sir. So, uh, let's see what you come to Alabama, too, Reese. Okay, we're going to see. <laughs> Roll tide, baby. Roll tide. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 Like Duke got with, with the main shooter getting hurt. <laughs> you know that's the truth. Don't get me started. The only player that – they could. He should have lost two other players. Just don't lose that one. Just don't lose that one. That's right. That's right. I felt bad about it that. It was like that's the guy. I mean, yeah. the, the, the only guy on the team you can't lose. I I so you got to be good and lucky. No, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. true. Hey man, yeah. have a good Jay. Good one, Jay. Appreciate you calling, man. Thank Thanks you, so Jay. much. Oh, okay, then, y'all have a good one, man. The, the, the spring. You mean it, the it was. It was on like a regular play. Just like you no. Know, yeah. What's this Achilles? I mean, he rolled. No, he rolled his ankle, but it just seemed like. I don't know, man. But, but I mean, that I tell hurt, you one thing. That hurt, hurt. You look when he went. At one time they went on a quick run and they got it, man. He, he went to stand up and he sat back down. I said, "Ooh, he's hurt." I said, "He hurt for real." Yeah. I, I, so oh he's hurt for real. So I gotta get to this quick story right quick. Again, shout out to the Wolfpack. Wolfpack. Let's nation. go pack. They just go pack. Uh, let's go pack. I mean, D-Y, I'm all so in, baby. Let's cool. go. Just, I'm so happy for that. I've been on with this ride the whole skip, time. Skip him. Uh, see, came back. Keep, keep on with whatever you want to say. I've been with this. I've been on this ride the whole time. Anyway, Pam. I've been on this ride the whole time. I wonder if it if it was Switch, if it was Carolina, would you be doing that too? What you be? Cheering Carolina? Yeah, like that. I mean, not openly. Right, okay. <laughs> I mean, I can't do it. I can't do it out in public. But you've been with State. So I mean, speaking, that's, your, uh, that's your ultimate team. I mean, I'm team. just looking at my phone. You know, we've been speaking, of state, speaking of State, uh, the women played yesterday as well, and mm-hmm. they made the Final Four. But unbeknownst to them that at halftime, uh, one of the players indicated that uh, the three-point arch <laughs> on the court <laughs> Mm-hmm. Was was farther back than 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 the one on the other side of the court. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how they noticed that. <laughs> They're like, man, I ain't dropping these things like I was. <laughs> but and I'm thinking, like, okay, really? 
So, no, is he too late? And I, why can't he – it's women's basketball. Get it right because you remember when I had the issue with the locker rooms during the NCAA tournament for the women versus the men? Yeah. Yep, yep, that was yep. a big deal. Why they always kind of cut – Cut corners. Disrespect. <laughs> well, no, how those <clears throat> interesting, uh, I guess, uh, contractors <laughs> put, the damn, put the damn art down. You gotta down. save money. Well, you got, you know, you got, you got travel squads and then you got, you know, the real squad. I'm just so saying. But which squad does women get? They don't get the 18. They don't get the 18, honestly. <laughs> they don't get Can the 18. Can you imagine? So, at halftime, they had about that. Kind of walking, patient along with their own feet, trying to measure the damn distance between the goal line. To they the, did what now? They, they walk with their own feet. Yeah. Well, you I mean, know, like the, one before the other. Yeah, one before the other. The other one. That's, how, that's how we measure. They, they yeah. measure with their own feet. In 2024. That's, that's how we measure now. We're not on no damn uh, measurement <laughs> tape. tape or even some digital <laughs> thing. Can, can you get the lows? They get one of those. Yeah, but they didn't have time. <laughs> but that damn, but you got to be kidding me. That's what, that's what I said. They, they got that contract. It's time group. for the next game. Right. They didn't have time to do that. <laughs> they have their mind. Wait a minute. Hold on. One, two. In home. <laughs> in home Depot sponsor. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, Y'all can bring the people. They didn't bring their tools. But, literally. Man, look, let me tell you something. <laughs> they give them away free as keychain. I know. I mean, I probably know. could have just downloaded a quick app. You can do it with your phone. <laughs> you can match with your dog on phone. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, man. It's, uh, All of my pants in that building. But, but, <laughs> Westmore, by the way, we actually stay with. I said, well, each team had a chance to shoot, shoot on both sides, so that made it even. And Westmore said, they shoot behind, far behind the line anyway, so it didn't matter. Right. And by the way, what's really interesting, when it was, when it was far the distance back, they shot, uh, 30, they, shot, they, they shot 33%. Uh, and they, they shot a lower percentage, got closer. A high percent, and they shot twenty nine percent in the shorter distance. <laughs> like he said, they shoot from the far. I'm the too close, anyway. I'm too close. Back it up. <laughs> that maybe somebody knows that's a man. This thing too close. <laughs> I can't make it. They're thinking about their head, and that's they, why the shot's not going close. in. All right, but let's hold on. Let's go back. Get it right. Y'all gotta get it right. Let's, let's go. Y'all get it right. Get it right. Rewind. Let's go back. Gotta get it right, baby. What the hell you mean they out there marking it off with their feet? That, that's back, what they back, did. They were doing one. All these people in the building, you have, ain't nobody got two bucks. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> no. Nobody got two bucks. But the phone, let me do it right now. They can, you can't come out and warm up right now because we got a marriage stuff. <laughs> the, the team's still in the locker room. This halftime now. They, they can pay the whole half. So we cut down the nets. We can get a ladder. We cut down Water the nets. ladder. We can, do all, we can do all these. All things can be done. But what we can't do is measure the right, right. But seriously, don't they have digital measurements? Yeah, I'm, 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 we you can do it on your phone. It's an app. Yeah. It's a, you can do it on your iPad. Go to the Apple store. But, but That's this, what I'm doing now. But this now. is the older generation, so maybe they didn't know that. No what? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's five million people in that building. Nobody. Uh, Excuse me in the crowd. You know, does, it, does, it, know, does anyone have a tape hey, measure? Hey, the deal that was some of the 18 year old like, I, I could have told you, y'all had it right now, here on the app. Now, you, now you know what's probably funny, what, though? They could have made that announcement. I can assure you some it would have been 20 people <laughs> got a tape measure on their keychain. Yeah. I'm serious. There's a, there's like six different apps. I'm pulling up real quickly. Do, does anyone have they a, does anyone in, anyway. in the arena have a tape measure? That's part. That's added to the Mars Madness. It was mad. Somebody's it, grandma had one in the It was madness, but it's great. It's, gra- it's a great time here at Ronnie Durham, man. We'll pack next to D.R. Reach came back. Pantone Smith the Fern, A-Town. Go Pat. Let's go, baby. My granny 88, she had my uncle in there. I miss cares back to back every year for like 10.
As always, you can visit the Sports Shop website, thesportshopradio.com, to catch up on all things Sports Shop. Help put together by our friends at Creative Allies. Creative Allies believes that everyone deserves great marketing, no matter your budget. The team at Creative Allies can help you with everything digital. That means a logo design or a new website. If you are a small business owner who needs a little help with marketing, you should reach out. Visit CreativeAllies.com or send an email to marketing at CreativeAllies.com. Telling no lies, I just run it up. Never let a hard time have a was. Double, 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 double lies. I ain't telling no lies, I just. Yeah. I ain't telling no lies, I just. Double, double. Five, four, three, two, that's time. I got to you that money. My dreams what? come true. My life. Come on, A-Town. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Was Dreamville this weekend? Next That's weekend. weekend. Next weekend, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be over there early. Who knew? Who knew? Oh, oh, you, you, you. What? You going to Dreamville early? Dreamville, baby. <laughs> Hold on, watch this, watch this. I, who, who, who's the headliner, Reed? I have no yeah. idea. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. I have no idea. <laughs> you think it'll be the guy that created it? You think? <laughs> oh, yeah. You think it'll be Jay that Cole, guy? Jay he Cole, didn't, yeah. he didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I really did. <laughs> yeah, I can see you really a Dreamville guy. <laughs> I see you, Reed. Yes, go ahead, on. Dreamville. Let's go, baby. Man, i tell you one thing. Uh, a lot of flights leaving out of Durham today. Uh he just headed to the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, leave it Durham. I said, Where okay, guys. There he goes, the Bahamas. They're not going to, you know, everybody in the airport, though. Mm-hmm. Everybody's in the airport this week, you know, and already you, for those that's listening, um, Raleigh Durham International Airport, right here. So it's in the, in the uh, Research Triangle Park. All of the schools, Triangle Schools, mm-hmm. surround it. It's just one school's flying the. You know, Arizona, everybody else going to the Bahamas. Just saying. Mm. Going on vacation. Ah, man, we got a lot to talk about because I got questions about this weekend. You're going to have to answer some things for me. Oh, okay. I got questions. I got answers. Let's go. Confused. Welcome back to the Sports Shop. Oh, the Sports wow. Shop. Reese and K-Mac doing what we do. <laughs> we got Dio Reese. What to do, what it does. It is good look. It is bad <laughs> look. It is Take Your Civil Vacation Monday. <laughs> What's up, Pamela? Good morning. Doing all right? I'm doing great. You back from your um uh uh your your, uh, your wedding planning? I am. I yeah. am. My yeah. nephew got married this weekend. Well, yeah. he got married on Friday, Good Friday. Yeah. So yeah. congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Little. Okay, great. Hey, congratulations to the to the newlyweds. Yes, the yes. So it was it was beautiful. I had a great time. Good job. I see you got rid of them things on your face. I did not. I told you. <laughs> no, no, she did. I noticed it. I noticed Just for it. y'all. I said, wish your wife was going to be right inside the studio. That was so stupid. I, I, I went back while I, like, after the was, wedding and everything, you know, I'm high. I'm just sitting in the cabin, and I was looking at uh, Facebook, and I was like, I can't believe this is what they did. <laughs> they? <laughs> and you sitting well, K-Man, here, K-Man, K-Man got his he phone was on it. doing like this with his phone, and you talking about, get, get off me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not even over there. Your, your lashes are. I was like, how you going? So, by the way, on yesterday, you know, Easter Sunday, I um, some family came to church, and so I hadn't seen one of my cousins in a long in a while. Yeah, but he's always you know watching me, watching yep. on social media. What's up, cuz? And so he said, "Watch out." He's like, "I got you. Tell tell those guys watch it. Uh-oh. Watch how they treat you." Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. You got big eyelashes too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Huh? No, he got big hands. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell them. He said, "Tell them watch how they treat you. <laughs> treat my girl." <laughs> I said they just playing. Mm. I tell you, people think you serious. K Mac, I mean, it's really about you. Me? <laughs> it is. Yeah, see, it's not me. me? I'm a nice guy. <laughs> they skip Reese. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you know Remember what? how the they pastor skipped Reese? She, yeah. she, she thought he was see, good. And that's why. That's bully. why. That's why I'm glad. <laughs> that's why I'm glad that the big, the big man with a smile on his face is making a comeback. Yeah, appreciate you, DJ. He's helping you out. <laughs> 
Big men are back and they're nice. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Because other than that, that narrative out there, that fake narrative that's being portrayed out there is killing me. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's killing me. D- hey, hey, time what you got? Uh, the poll question? Yes, hey, time I had to, to make sure. <laughs> so the poll question can be found on X, formerly known as Twitter through Buzz Sports Radio with Sports Shop 1. And the poll question presented by Oak Grove Tech, who would you put your money on to win their <laughs> NCAA championship, the NC State women or the NC State men? And it's 50-50. Mm. Okay, I'll take that. Man, I tell you, I, I told you I had questions, but let's see if he can answer these questions. I'm sure he first. can. We got Adam from Durham calling in. I'm sure he's uh, – he, uh, congratulations, Adam. You guys made it almost. Hey, uh, you know, we made it further than that team down in Chapel Hill did. Oh, God. Uh, so, Ooh. you know, we'll, we'll take that this year. What? So, so that's your that, wait, that, wait, that's, wait, that's, that's your comfort. Yeah, that's your <laughs> measurement. That, that, that that's how that's how you evaluate your your, your team based on how team the team's I thought y'all were the capstone. Well, we're the capstone too, but uh, but for me, for basketball, I'm, I'm a tall here. I know. I thought y'all were the capstone. So yeah, that is a measuring stick. Oh, okay. Right? Oh, okay. So we got. Okay. For, oh, okay. We, we, I, I we got did you. better than Carolina, so we no, no. good. We okay. happy. No, no, Adam. They call themselves over there the standard. Mm. That's what they. What, whatever. Whatever it is. Whatever. whatever <laughs> it is. I never heard Adam like that. Well, I try to tell you, this weekend got people sensitive, boy. <laughs> so, um, you know. I, I was telling A-Town, in, in big games, you, you just want your team to play well. Like, I can right. take a loss if we play well. And we played about as well as we could yep. yeah. uh, yesterday. Go. Um, I think I think we we needed a little bit more from Ziegler. I think we needed a little bit more from Josiah Jordan-James. Um, but we got every single bit out of Dalton Connect. And, and that man showed up in the yep. first game uh, yes. in Tennessee history. And I, I can't ask for much more than that. Well, he showed um, up. He showed up, man. He he gave it everything he had. Um, you know, it, I don't I don't know I, I don't know who NC State's third center is, but y'all better get ready to see him because uh, they're gonna foul Zach Eady, and yeah, you know, NC State's third center is gonna get about ten or fifteen minutes that they haven't been getting all year. Yeah, wow. Um, they're gonna need to. Yeah, um, it, it's just he he he's just a tough matchup. I mean, he's seven foot four. Um, you know, like yeah, Purdue's guards are good, but uh, you know, well, <laughs> you can, you can, I, I could throw an entry pass into Zach Eady. Um, you know, they they hit some shots, they hit some big shots. Fletcher Lawyer had had some points, um, but yeah, I mean, Purdue's just good. They're just a good. It's a, mm-hmm. it's the second time we played them this year, and it was a, a you know carbon copy of what happened to us in in Honolulu. Yeah. Um, back in November, yeah. it was, I guess. Yeah. Um, that, that game looked ex- – it was exactly like that. Um, it was just real frustrating. You know, Tennessee hasn't doesn't have the history of some of these other programs. That's one of the best teams we've ever had at the University of Tennessee. And it's just a shame that uh, that we couldn't make more out of it. It's just a shame. Mm. Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's a fair assessment, man. Yeah. I, 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 and I t- – Hmm. Uh, Connect was incredible. I mean, loved watching him. I mean, you want to say as advertised? Yeah, I mean, yes, he was, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Man, I mean, he's he's gonna be a lottery pick easier yeah. uh, yeah. uh, in in June. So, but but yeah. hey, Adam, I was thinking about you though. But uh, you know, Edie was he's tough, man. He's tough to have inside. So and yeah. and you know, I, giving credit like like credit where it's due. Like he's gonna get fouled. Not many seven foot four dudes shoot a, a free throw at a seventy percent clip. And and when you when you fa- get fouled as much as he does, like those, those are just free buckets, right? Um, and and he hits them, and he hits them. Uh, you know, Tennessee shot bad from the free throw line when we did get our seven uh, that we took in that game. Um, <laughs> just seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Came That's funny. Like, Adam is on it. Um, but you know, like. Good luck to him. I think I think UConn's going to take him down. I don't think – honestly, I really don't think NC State stands a chance. Um, good. And good. You know, good luck. Good luck next year when Zach Eady ain't there and your your guard's got to hit contested jumpers from now on. I'll yeah. see you, Sports Shop. Mm. All right, take Thank care. you, Adam. Take care. So that was going to be my question, right? That game, uh, Tennessee and Purdue. Mm-hmm. And well, actually, Zach Eady. How do you stop Zach Eady? I have an I have an idea. Hmm. How do you stop? How does Zach State Eady? stop him? Well, here's what Zach Eady hasn't seen though. 
He hasn't seen DJ Burns. And I'll say this this way. DJ takes up a lot more space than any other sitting that he's faced before. Mm-hmm. So getting around him is going to be a little bit more difficult. The key, though, is are you going to be strong enough and big enough to push him off his spot and get him off his spot? Because he's comfortable. He's got a – he's it, it's, depending on where it is around the basket, he, I mean, his shot, he is comfortable. He's, he's just like DJ. Right. It gets he's to a certain point, too. he's comfortable in that zone, in that little spot. I, get, I bet if you pull up the analytics, you'll see 90% of his shots are all, like, in one little tight little spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think – I was thinking about it yesterday. I think you – if you double him – well, see, D, D, DJ is big, but he he's not 7'4". Yeah, that's oh, why I you got to right. push him right. 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 You got to be able to push him You got to push out. him out. And, and it really depends on how, how the officiating goes, too. Ah. Uh, because if, if they let him play, then it'll be advantage uh, DJ. If not yeah. – then DJ will be in foul that's trouble. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll get in right. foul trouble right. early right. and it's right. over. Right. Right. That's, yeah. Mo, 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 Mo don't want that. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mo's athletic. He's a little tall, but look. See, that's the thing. He, he's, he, you know, he's got some size on him and he's 7'4". Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's, yeah, that's, so that's, that's, the, that's yeah. the problem. Yeah. <laughs> that's he's a big dude. So, you know, that's why I say it's going to be – it, it comes down to this, yeah, actually – this is probably the biggest, the, truly the biggest game DJ Burns is going to ever have. Absolutely. <laughs> biggest game, pun intended. <laughs> pun, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> for, for, for. Pun intended. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be tough. But let's talk about, um, let's talk about Duke real quick. I mean, we'll talk about it again too. But yeah, let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. Disappointing season it goes without saying, right? Unexpected loss, no. No, I. If you were being honest, you should you go you should have went into the game with state saying this is fifty fifty. You think so? Hmm. Mm-hmm. This is fifty fifty. No, I I didn't feel that way. No, I I I, yeah. I thought it would be very hard uh, for state to beat them again. Because. Well, it's hard to beat Duke back to back for one. It, it, it is. <laughs> it is. But what did other than Roach having? A really great, great game, and uh-huh. then a pretty decent game. Other than that, what have they shown you over the last month, really, to make you feel that way? Well, they play. They just playing the best basketball they play all season. Uh, com- coming out of the tournament, right? Uh, the loss to NC State the first time, and uh, going to the uh, NCAA. NC, yeah, yeah. They, I mean, and and they was playing. I mean, and McCain was incredible. Hell, he had thirty two last night. So and, and and Roach Roach played well and, and um, but where Flip, was Proctor? Is this? Proctor? I'm not sure. You know, Proctor has, he struggled. That's a big uh, early problem on. for Duke. And I don't know where um, Flip was like. Was, I don't know. Frustrated. He's frustrated. He, I, yeah. And I still think he had a very disappointing year, even though they still put him on all these teams. I thought Flip because last year I thought he played better. Off oh, expectations, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah, but I'm. I'm, I'm still going back to this fact, and I know this sounds crazy, but you look at Kentucky, you look at these one and dons, and I mean, when they get down to to this this time of year, I, I don't see no one and dons going to the Final Four. It just hadn't hadn't happened in a long time. That's true. And uh, now you got grown men going to the Final Four. NC State has grown men on that team. Really grown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. really grown. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so when they all grad, when they all with the starting five are all grads. Right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they all grad students. They, they, Every starter, including the the two uh, guys off the bench, all of them came from uh, other schools. Yeah, that's trans- transferred in. And the two that's only in yeah. DJ and they 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 they, they transferred in as juniors, but they're graduates. Yeah, they're graduates. So, <laughs> so 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 I, I I don't know. Let me just say this: maybe the Duke faithful, and I just just my opinion, they're happy with the number one recruiting class coming in. And I'm, no shade, because I wish Carolina had that. Maybe they're happy and just have them there during, during the season. Mm-hmm. And they may get lucky in the postseason, but they're happy because they they can say we are the best recruiting class and we beat people during the regular season. That could be I think that could be the formula. I'm not even trying to joke about that. Some people are happy with that. I th- right. I think it's the using the transfer portal for schools like Duke, figuring out how to effectively use it. It's going to be the difference. It's going. It's, it's truly going to be the difference because you you'll never say I don't want 
the ones that does, the one that does. You, you, you'll never no, say no, you that. can't say right, that. Right, you know what right, right. But you can, what you what you are smart enough to say is, dang, I need to get some to pizza. mix it up. You know what I <laughs> mean? Exactly. You got, <laughs> you got to mix so, it up. So yeah. the, your effective use of the transfer portal, right. is what's really going to make the difference to put you back to where you where you feel where you mm-hmm. where you deserve to be. During the pressure last last night, they asked Coach Shire about the fact that they were the only team in the ACC that didn't have any transfer portals in, and are you proud of that? Mm-hmm. And do you think that, that I don't think he did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he did it on purpose. <laughs> but, but 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 that's a lot to say about. I think this time of year though, because you can have some younger. You I mean, have it, now now you, that McCain he he wanted done. He, he it ain't that, like he didn't help. Uh, yeah, do, he had thirty two last night. You no, know, but you know, I don't know. It just. But see, you sometimes need, you gotta have those seasoned guys down the stretch, though. That's all. You I'm got Ryan. experience matters. Yeah. But you got Ryan and uh, uh, the other guy, Mitchell, trying to play the post. And they, <laughs> man, they look like a like, man, a, a, the, like a bunch of lost giraffes out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm, that's, I, I, no, that's true. I, I said no, this is a right. true post game. Yeah. yeah, and you guys out here looking like you know, uh, you know, grass kick, grass school guys p- playing pickup ball. It's like mm-hmm. AAU, whatever. Right. Yeah, that's exactly what it looked like. Yeah. Clearly, you are outmatched. This right. is not where right. you belong. Right. Exactly. This, and, uh, yeah, you out your league here. And I get you got to put what you got on the on That's the floor. That's what you got to do. Which is so. Then what do you what do you have? You have a Filipowski, so you got to get him in because he's a self footer. You got him to try to fill yeah. in. But that's not what man, you need him. He, no. he, man, he put, we put which is why he fouled out, by the way. In that wa- the wash machine with the work in it. I mean, I mean, he with the work on it. But but you know what? DJ with the work on everybody though. But, that, but here's my thing: you're not you're not a true post center. So you play against a DJ Burns who's like. Like first of all, I keep telling y'all, the guy takes up a lot of space. Yeah, I'm telling you, a lot of space, bro. So when you put that kind of see, I've never seen him in person though. So you, you won't forget. Okay, <laughs> I, I can tell you that. <laughs> Look, he's huge. When I stood next to him, I said, "Dang, that's how Pam feel." <laughs> oh my bad. Not, that was unsolicited. I shouldn't even taken a shot like you at that. That's why but, they talk about you. You know. Anyway, anyway, but no, seriously. I mean, he's a big dude. He takes up a lot of space. Mm-hmm. So, first of all, I want you to talk about Mitchell and Ryan because they, they they played their hearts out. Bless they they bless did all they could, all they could do is all they could do. <laughs> look, bless, bless their heart. <laughs> bless, bless their little heart. Bless, bless their heart. And, and that's not complimentary, <laughs> man. When people say that, they ain't being complimentary right there. They, bless their, bless they their heart. They throw a little shade. They did what they could. But right. anyway. Right. So, th- but then you put Filipowski in that, and he's just not a true big man. He's, that's not his game. No, it's not. And definitely trying to have him defend DJ. Oh my God, that, yeah. that was horrible. No, nah, no, nah, it's bad. I mean, so, but my my last take on 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 Duke, the state of Duke basketball at this point, this is probably the probably one of the most important decisions that Shire is going to make in some of these recruits and how he puts this team together. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. he still got the one and done's coming in. He got the top three. He got the top three in the nation. The top yeah. three in the nation coming. Cooper flag coming. They're gonna, in. They're going to be here. But he also recognizes you got to put something with that. Mm-hmm. Right? You know what I mean? So that's great. Yeah. You know, you can have all these great recipes and all this other stuff, but hell, if you ain't got no sugar. <laughs> got no sugar. It don't taste good. <laughs> it, don't, it, it, look, it don't look. The cake don't rise. <laughs> you don't do it. Look, you don't do it all right. Okay. But well, I'm just saying. Stop yeah. talking about my cakes. Oh. <laughs> I know. I know she ain't done Pappy, that. you would cook a cake. Yes. Okay. How you start? Dry ingredients or wet ingredients? <laughs> We're not talking for? about this. We're all sports. I just, this is a side note. <laughs> <laughs> See, Reese about to say, hey, Tal, get it. You better take me out. I'm getting close. <laughs> yeah. he, he was about to yeah, do that. Don't do that. <laughs> I saw that twitching his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what? And they talk about me. He be the one. He's the one. Oh, my God. Hey, Tal, where you at? The Kappa Foundation of Kerry will be hosting its annual golf classic <laughs> on time. Saturday, May 18th, 2024. <laughs> Registration is currently open, and the tournament committee, in conjunction with the team at Lockmere Golf Club in Cary, have an exciting afternoon of golf planned for all those who participate. The tournament will be played under a two-person, captain's choice format. Women are also welcome to participate. The tournament includes lunch, swag bags, refreshment stations, and a post-tournament awards dinner. Please join several of your local sports celebrities and golfers of all skill levels as they come together to support our community. Registration details can be found by navigating to the golf tournament section located at carrycappers.org forward slash KFOC. The tournament organizers can also be reached via phone at 919-297-8301 or by email at Cabot Foundation of Cary 
at gmail.com. Man, when we come back on the other side, we're going to hear from Kevin Keats and mm. let me get you my thoughts on how you should, how I feel or how I should feel mm. you should about feel. Kevin Keats and this historic run that they're having. Because we've been on this ride with him the whole time. We're going to talk about all that next on the Sports Show. Let's go. BetMGM has an unreal deal for you sports fans. This is KMAC. I'm telling you right now, you don't want to miss this. Make sure you guys go out to BetMGM, download the app today so you can get signed up and you'll be ready to go and start placing your wagers. You can turn $5 into $150 in bonus bets instantly when you place your first wager. Easily easily stretch your sports betting excitement to the absolute max simply by downloading Bet- the BetMGM app and using code KMAC150. That's right, KMAC150. Man, we had some good times over the over this weekend. I got my daughter signed up and uh, had her place on her first wages. And um, I don't know. She may be on to something, Coach. Everybody won except for me. That's okay. But, hey, make sure you guys go out and sign up for BetMGM right now. Get you signed up. Use promo code KMAC150. The king of sports books is here. Bet at, see BetMGM.com for terms. North Carolina only. 21 plus only. New customer office subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are known with draw but bonus best that expire in seven days. Gamble problem call one eight seven 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 one eight five five four three or visit more than the game dot nc dot gov.
cash. I got a show today. It's all I'm trying to do. Hustle and motivate. Choppers are throw away. Hustle the over way. That's why they follow me, huh? They think I know the way. Cause I took control of things. Ball in the solo way. And if you pattern my trend, I make you my protege. Crossing that soldier race. Don't know them days. I know them days. Welcome back. Yeah. Welcome back to the Sports Shop. Sports Shop, Risa K. Mac, doing what we do. Rocking out this morning on this good look, bad look Monday. What's your good look? What's your bad look over the weekend? I got plenty of good looks from this weekend. Do you really? I, I got Tons I, I got a couple good looks too, man. I, I feel some type of way because I'm not really down about the Duke loss. Well, you know I mean, I feel some. I feel because you're happy about states win. That that's what it is. I'm being, I'm, I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm being overcome. That. That's not true. Let me help you out. Well, no. Let me help you out. I'm not down about the Duke loss either. I, I am truly <laughs> not down about the Duke loss. I'm actually kind of up. I'm, by the fact, <laughs> hey, full disclosure, hell, that made my weekend. <laughs> that was my good look. <laughs> well, I'm just I keeping it 100. So join the club. <laughs> well, I'm trying to tell you. Well, you know what? You know join what? the club. Because you know Duke would have gone. They would oh, be state and defend the state and Carolina didn't go. I'm trying to tell you. If it, it, if, if it, wasn't, if it wasn't for neighbors, you wouldn't have any man. <laughs> <laughs> Get that right. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. We got we got so much going on. We uh we got Herb and Durham waiting, but hey, right now we got Eight Town back there behind the glass. You doing all right, Eight? Yeah, I'm doing well. It was good, man. How we doing on the poll question? So the poll question presented by Oak Grove Tech. <laughs> I'm not down. <laughs> Who would you put your money on to win the NCAA championship? The NC State wom- women or the NC State men? And 64 percent say the NC State men. Oh wow! Yeah, because the women they've been close a couple of times. Uh, yeah. West Boy has a great oh, yeah. program over there, yeah. Yeah. and Keith. I mean, they he's fighting literally for his his card as <laughs> coaching life. <laughs> Think about that though. Yeah. If it, well, at least I, that particular job. Yeah, that job. Yeah. I, if it wasn't for the fact that you know his bonus and all that stuff kicked in, <laughs> <laughs> say if kicked was, in. If you was Keith and you got all the way, you got to the final four, you get to the championship game. Would you just take? Would it be just that disrespectful to take another job? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, boy. Ooh. Hold up, take Kentucky. Hey, uh, but hey, how about this? How, how about how, how no, about you, how, no, no, hey, you didn't want me. Hey, how, how about Calipari? All of a sudden, you know, right? It's, it's just too tough for me. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the NBA uh-huh. and Keith Lee there and go there. <laughs> what? The, that would be. You can't cry. Back then no, you want me. Now I'm hot, y'all on me. Look, <laughs> Mike Jones. Say, say it again. Say <laughs> back it again. Then you didn't want me. Now no, I'm hot. Uh, oh. You all on me. You all on me. Hey, look. I remember so not so long ago on St. Patrick's Day. A couple of weeks. <laughs> well, <laughs> you try to get rid of me. Yeah, no, literally. That's yeah. right. I ain't gonna let you forget. Okay. But we got Herb and Durham calling yes. in. I'm just. <laughs> it's just gonna be an intelligent conversation. It, it always as is. it always yes, is. Yes. Yes. Good, Good morning, morning Herb. Dr. Herb. How, how are you, Herb? <laughs> Ah, doing great. Good morning, everybody. I'll be real quick. Okay. I don't want to be, I know this is good look, bad look. I don't want to be a homer, Uh-oh. but uh, Uh-oh. first good look is uh, that Reese's Right thing. Um, I think last week there was a guy on <laughs> Alabama who torched Carolina, and everybody was saying, why didn't he get recruited, blah, blah, blah. And I think Reese yep. was saying, well, you know, he only scored uh, six <laughs> That was his best game. He, he only scored six And games. he'll never do it again. <laughs> exactly. You saw what happened you know at this game, did <laughs> you? Know what? He never did. But anyway. Uh, Thank also, you, Herb. Uh, two, two things real quick. Uh, J- I, before I walk my dog, I heard Jay mention that teams have to be good and lucky, and he's right. But yeah. there's one other oh, yeah. factor that he left out. And that is, you have to be old in this environment. Mm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know that any of State's players started out there. And on all the teams right now are basically all-star teams. You, and so that's mm. what you have to have. I also heard, mm. uh, I think, uh, James, and uh, congratulations to all, our, all of our Wolfpack friends and foes. Uh, but James made me think of, I was in church yesterday, so I'm a believer. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, he brought up something I don't know. I was I was. It's kind of like the listening to the sermon. You hear, it, but yeah, goes past you sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what the tournament did was it made me think how spoiled Carolina some. 
Carolina and Duke fans are. Mm. Because if you look at this tournament, Alabama has never been to the Final Four. That's right. According mm-hmm. to what I hear. No, that's right. That's You're true. right. You're right, Harry. So when they made it to the Final Eight, they were screaming and hollering like uh, a national championship. Purdue, I understand, hadn't been in 44 years. 1980, yeah. I mm. guess. And so let's get to our hometown heroes. NC State, I understand they haven't been for 40 years or so. Yeah, yep. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and James was giving a sermon, I think. But here's what I would say. <laughs> that is that State got through the Red Sea open up for them, starting with Virginia and Oakland, and they have marched right on through the Red Sea. And guess <laughs> what? The, the story doesn't end there. Ooh. Oh, wow. When they went through the Red Sea, you know what happened? Mm. What the... Come on now. Everybody we'll didn't go, on. though. Yeah, some people, you know some people they, weren't, they weren't on board. They stayed <laughs> back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about those who went through. That's right. When they went through, they celebrated as they should. That's right. But you know what happened after that? They spent 40 more years in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. So uh, Mm -hmm. enjoy it. Herb, very good, man. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Herb. Always a pleasure to hear from you. (laughs) Herb, thank you for the word. Yeah, thank you for the word. (laughs) (laughs) Take care. Uh, But but you know what? That's why I say, that's why I ask this question. Mm, Interesting. Because I get to why not us, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But the real question is going to have to be now, now that you're here, what are you going to do? Now that you're here, what are you going to do? Well, it's interesting you say that because mm-hmm. I, I was thinking that uh, particularly the, the women going. Right. Yeah. Who they got to play. Yeah. <laughs> South to. Carolina. Uh, and, and, and the men going – the only, it'd be interesting if they were playing UConn, but they playing Purdue, Purdue come out of the box, so mm-hmm. we'll see how that works out. So now you're there. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You, 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 Bring home the championship, what, what I would like for you to do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But in this, this whole ACC talk, who would have thought the school to save the ACC for being demolished? Because it was, trust me, it's on the brink of being demolished now. Yeah. They're coming for it. Because oh, of, yeah. Because they're coming of for conference it. alignments. Conference yeah. alignments. Yeah. 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 Would be Clemson, State, and Duke making it to the Sweet 16. Uh, Carolina made the Sweet Carolina 16. Carolina made the Sweet Carolina 16. Carolina, too. Right. At the lead eight. Yeah, yeah. Lead so, eight. so that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. Um, again, I think, I think it all goes back to our leader of the conference. I, 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 I've been you know, I had to think about what you said. And now yeah. I can't see that man differently. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> no, so no. Much. Thanks <laughs> a lot. Thanks a lot. And by the way, every time I see him now, now I know. Reese by the way, is like what? His, they, they put his seat right in the in the line of the camera, so you see him at all and the time. Every tournament. time, uh-huh. every, every time. time I see him, I hear you screaming in my ear. <laughs> Matt, it's his fault. <laughs> the back. He. You gotta have a leader, dog. <laughs> oh, every That's time true. I see that That's guy true. now, I think about the fact that same thing. ACC. Mm-hmm. Now we here. What are we gonna do, Matt? We're thinking about it. Over this whole run for, since the tournament started, he had every every day he had a chance to pop his collar. Including and say, today. And he has it. Including today. Maybe he will by hold now. Up, including the, last year we had a team from the, from the ACC in yeah. the Final Four. Right. The year before that we had two teams. So yeah. what the hell are y'all talking about? Look, anyway. Seven years ago, reason I was in Phoenix. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, We're doing it again. So, anyway. But so Man, now that we're here. in Phoenix. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were there. <laughs> yeah. So – now that we're here, what are we going to do? And that goes for NC State. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about overall as a university yeah. coach. Now you have the women there. Yeah. Your football program is on the rise mm-hmm. where it should be. It's always been a staple, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Right? And now you got the men there. Yeah. So now, and you're here. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to take advantage of it? I want, I want you to. They I, should. Matter of fact, we need you to. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. We the need conference you needs you too. I did promise you guys we hear from Kevin Keats. We, I will do that when we come back. We don't have to take a quick break. But uh, what, Eitan, what do you have for me? Virgin Cigars of Raleigh has the top cigars from around the world for you to smell, hold, and taste before taking them home. Receive a free gift with your first purchase. Stop in across from CarMax on Glenwood Avenue and online at virgincigarsnc.com. And be sure to ask about their private lounge. 
When you smoke, smoke the best with cigars from Virgin Cigars. When we come back, man, we're going to talk about Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, oh, man. and we're going to hear about hear from Kevin Keats as he talks about this historic run for NC State. Let's go.
Yeah. Come on now. It's your life. You can play with it. Don't play you with it. Bed, you gonna lay in it. You gonna lay in it. Thing, just be safe with it. Just be safe with Triple it. Triple bucks in the state prison. Welcome Blue back. Welcome back to the Sports Shop. Sports Shop, Reese K. Mac, doing what we do. Man, we having ourselves a good time on this good look, bad look, Monday. <laughs> Let me know what your good look, your bad look was. 919-890-6200. 919-890-6200. Make sure you check us out on all of our social media platforms at the Sports Shop One because we're never number two. That's right, the Sports Shop One because we're never number two. We're rocking out this morning as always. We got the firm, Pam Thompson Smith. What up, Pamela? Good morning. Staying out of trouble? Yes. Always. How you know? How you know you're staying out of trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Intentional <laughs> effort. Intentional efforts. I like that. Intentional, Intentional effort. effort. That's good. Yes. <laughs> You know what, Pam? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that one. It's like how you stay out of trouble and be and have intentional efforts. That's how you do it. That's exactly how you do it. Off the top of the head, too. Yeah, exactly. That was pretty good, wasn't it? She get lucky yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Uh, see what I'm saying? Man, you should look. You should put them things on your face a long time ago. <laughs> so I, I can see it. <laughs> you can see clearly I can now. See clearly now. The rain oh, is God. gone. Yeah, thankfully. <laughs> hey, Tal, how you doing back there this morning, man? Doing well. Yeah? You had to get, do a little sunlight check? Yeah, this is the first time today. Yeah. Other times I just said it. Today yeah. I had to I take do a break. <laughs> you do a little dude. sunlight check like, that hey, dude. it looks pretty good out there. I like this. So, uh, <laughs> hey, how was your um, uh, Easter weekend? Mm. It's pretty good. Good. Saw some basketball, saw some family. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What great? What grandma cook? Grandma cook something good. Today. Made started. some uh, some pasta. Ooh. Okay. Very well done. Good job, grandma. <laughs> good Thank job, you. grandma. Pen, what'd you cook? Oh, this weekend was really busy. We didn't really do a lot uh, of cooking. Moving on. We Reece, ate out. Uh, wait, wait, the wait. whole family hey, ate out. Hey, Pam. <laughs> Look, I got, I got, you know, you know, you get the E invitation. Mm-hmm. Evites. Evite. Mm-hmm. My man Mikey sent me an Evite. What? <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> Mikey sent me an Evite. Okay, well, then why did Mikey send me an Evite? <laughs> Mike, Mikey sent me a brunch Evite. Hey, brunch what? Evites. Then <laughs> <laughs> you have a brunch. You know, his first, it's a Mikey brunch. His first annual brunch. Mikey oh, brunch. I missed Mike, it. Mike, <laughs> Mikey had his first annual brunch. <laughs> Maybe I can I'm make it next this, year. Look, I'm down there 60 years old. <laughs> I ain't had my first annual nothing. <laughs> This dude was six months old. Okay, but that Friday, he thought that was the funniest thing. That's so cute. I love it. I love it. I said, I said wait a minute. Is Mikey sending out an email? <laughs> Mikey is. Boy, things don't change. Mikey had his bow tie on yesterday. Man, man. he looked good at the bow tie. Suspenders. He good said, job. That's right. Good he, job. He, 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 good he job with the bow tie. I yeah. like the bow tie. Yeah, my, my, my mom sent that. Uh, his. His grandmother, I guess. Great grandma. Great grandma. Great grandma. Yeah. Gigi. Yeah. Call her Gigi. Gigi. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, That's nice. So I know you wouldn't come cook now. I was just asking. <laughs> no, the whole family went out. I mean, yeah. you know, it's just a busy weekend. I mean, wait. <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> you think it was a busy weekend? Hey, town, how we doing on the poll question? So the poll question presented by Oak Grove Tech, who would you put your money on to win their NCAA tournament championship, NC mm. State women or the NC State men? And 75% say the NC State men. Good. Okay. If you've been watching, that's mm-hmm. the right that's the right choice. Wait, who you switch put your money on? Money on. Put your money on. I'm putting my money on the pack. Well, both oh. are the pack. <laughs> you smart, man. Both smart. are the pack. Who you would smart. you put your money on? I know you've been uh betting and been successful. Yeah, right? yeah, How yeah. much money you I'm, got I'm in there? Now? I'm, I'm up two hundred right now. I was talking about you last night yeah. when we were talking about betting, you know, just at the family. And I said, well, Reese, Reese is up. Yeah. I said, I think he's got a, like a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. Just use that one five dollars. Somebody yeah. said, well, what about K-Mac? I said, K-Mac won't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 he tell us once, once the show, though. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he won't say it on the air. <laughs> He all my family and friends, all my family and friends win. That's all I want to tell you. And I just thought about that. I said, K Mac won't tell us, <laughs> but I can tell you what Reese is. My family and friends, they all too. win. They all win. My daughter was on this weekend. She's she like, won a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they all won. My um, her boyfriend, he, you know, he won. Well, he he's got all the platforms though. Oh, okay. So he's got all. He he did a twenty leg. Parlay, I guess that's what you call it. See, Jeez, see that's 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 crazy. How much you think he could, he was gonna win if he hit it all? Uh, I don't know. Give me a thousand. Thirty-seven thousand. Thirty-seven thousand dollars. 
Yeah. Wow. It was, but it was, I mean, and at about uh, six o'clock yesterday, he had all but about eight left to go. Oh, wow. Wow. And in one baseball game, didn't go, and he lost it. I said, man. I said, no, that's too much work for me. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a, a whole lot of That's a lot of. I said, <laughs> but that sounds fun, though. Yeah. But that, look, you talking about dialed in. You know, that, now I see why people would have all these TVs. All this mm-hmm. stuff. Yep, yep, yep. But, YouTube TV. Yeah. Like there libraries? You, hey, there you go. I love my YouTube TV. I love mine, too. I'm going to put my mom on it now. Yes, hey. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube TV, let's go. <laughs> Shout out to YouTube. But anyway, uh, this historic run. Uh, Wolfpack won against the Duke Blue Devils mm-hmm. yesterday. So basically, the, the nation, the world got to see what we do here in our own backyard that's, all the time. That's, that's, right. That's, that's, how, that's, that's right. This is how we get down. This is what we do. <laughs> they've got a chance. They've got a chance. This is how we roll. They're like, man, that is such a great game. I said, man, we do this all the time. That's just a regular old Tuesday for us sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what we do over at the PNC Arena. That's how it roll. But Kevin Keats on this historic run, I think not a, a lot has been said, but not enough, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think everybody knows the story like we know the story. They just know the glory. Mm-hmm. So they just watching it now. We've been watching it since we interviewed Coach Keats, that very first interview mm-hmm. that we had with him. And I think we alluded to the fact, you know, best you could probably be coming into this is probably – Third of interest in the triangle. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Not saying you couldn't be good, right? But interest-wise, NC State comes in at best third. Yeah. And back, I think back then, I think Central was having a run with uh, Coach Moden, so you know, they was giving him a run for that. Now here we are, you know, on the national stage with a team that he's rebuilt at least three times, maybe four, at least three times. And they're winning. But Coach Keats talks about making the Final Four. Uh, let's hear from Coach Keats talks, talking about making the Final Four since, since having been making the Final Four since 1983. It means a lot. You know, I, I think, you know, our school deserves it. You know, our players have really worked hard. Um, the fans deserve it. Uh, we've done a really good job. Um, you know, when I say we, I mean, I always say we. I'm saying these young men in the locker room through all of the adversity that we have went through, ups and downs of winning games, losing games. Um, they never lost their faith and stayed together, and it, it means a lot. It really does. Uh, let's hear from Coach Keys as he talks about this possibly being his best coaching job. Hmm. I've had some really good teams. And, you know, for us, I would say something about all of my teams are really special. These guys are so special. I, I think, what is it, nine now? Nine elimination games or you go home? Mm-hmm. They're tremendous. That, like, you ought, to, you ought to see us every day. Uh, they make it easy for me to wake up every morning and, and come to practice and work hard with them because of who they are as personalities. I would say this, I've learned more basketball from these guys and I learned in my entire career uh, because they know how to work they're great people they work hard and so and you know it's hard to say if it's my best you know you'd have to ask somebody else but I, okay. I'm sure having a lot of fun with this group I tell you that uh, mm. interesting that's a very interesting statement that he made regarding that um, yeah it has to be his best but think about this nine Elimination games in a row. Mm-hmm. They should have paid that parlay. You, you, uh, you, you, you ain't lying. <laughs> exactly. You ain't exactly. lying. <laughs> Think about that, though, man. Yeah. Take that. They were talking about that this morning. Yeah. Nine. Nine. What I love about um, him, too, the, the, he's, he said the same thing weeks ago when they had just lost mm-hmm. um, four straight. Mm-hmm. Like, he's always kept the confidence in his team. Mm-hmm. We talked about mm. what Ted talked. Did he say? You know, so yeah, I think yeah, every yeah, time they yeah. go into the locker room, he's got a small Ted talk of motivation yeah. for them. Unlike some coaches, you know, we we talked about them on <laughs> sitting yeah. here. Mm-hmm. They get you know lose four or five straight. They throw them under the bus. That yeah, they can't dribble. They can't do this. You know, but he's been their favorite. Yeah, I would say real quick though, his his his, his temperament and how just how he sounds has been the same. The exact same. Even when the they lose four in right, a row and right. win the nine in a row. So shout out up here for that. Let's hear real quickly from DJ Burns as he talks about his head coach, Kevin Keats. You screamed at you screamed at Keats while he was cutting the net down. Start giving him some respect. Give my man some respect. I'm was, tired of the disrespect. You know, um, 
I'm just tired of him being disrespected, you know. That man, they treat him terribly, you know, or they did at least, you know, now it's flipped a little bit, but um, we needed to continue to flip because that man deserves all the love and respect that he should get. No, you're moving. Very well said. They hear you. He says now it's flipped. <laughs> but they hear you, though. Yeah, exactly. But to DJ Burns' credit, he did bench. He did say something um, in one of the post games, not the post game, uh, actually on the court. He said things are different. The locker room is different. No one's late to meetings anymore. Right. You don't have to say certain things anymore. So he's acknowledging that they didn't do their part. Right. Mm-hmm. Early on. That's good. Mm-hmm. They didn't do that part. That's early. right. That's, 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 that's a good. very good point. He mm-hmm. did say that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was wondering where that was coming from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. They didn't do that part early. Yeah. And the rest of us could see it. Yeah. Right. We were like, dang. But I, honestly, what, what I couldn't see was why the coach keeps believing them so much. Because they had never shown me that they deserve that type of accolade mm-hmm. collectively. You know what I mean? Individually, they do some good sure. shit. Sure. You know, but collectively, they never showed me anything. Right. You know, DJ, sometimes he looked like he was out of shape, which was he really out of shape? Was he did he really not want to play with – the team didn't play as a team, so it, that's the first thing that would kill the energy of a big man. <laughs> I'm telling you, when the rest – look, when you can't get the ball, you don't do the right, right. thing, trust me, the hustle is gone. Yeah. The hustle will disappear. But now they've come together. But now here they are. They've come together. And this is one of those things you guys know. Think about this for Coach Keys. Is this one of those situations where he's looking out and he's saying, like, when you one of your kids finally do something and you say to yourself, like, dang, I never thought I'd see this. Mm. Or I knew they had it in them. I knew they had it yeah, in them. Yeah, one other. That's where they go. <laughs> That's pretty good. Sports shot Reese K Mac, Pam Thompson Smith, eight time behind the glass. Sorry, Duke. You didn't do what you should do. See you next year. <laughs> Let's wow. go.